So I'm going to take a big brush, plenty of water. So lots of water. And I'm just going to slosh this all over the, the, um, the painting. I have stretched this paper, by the way. Um, and it's not the normal paper I use. This is actually a Bockingford um, paper, which I don't normally use because I find it does dry quite quickly. So I'm going to have to slosh a lot of water on here. So we're just over everything. Nice and wet. So this first part's going to be pretty wet and wet. Just let the paint sort of go wherever it wants to go. Um, and hopefully we'll end up with a reasonable uh, mixture of colours that we can work with. Right, so that's all nice and wet now. So to do this, I'm actually going to not tilt it quite so much. So I'm flattening the board out a little bit. There we go. So I'm going to start to dip into my colours now. First colour I'm going to take will be um, my yellow. So I'm just using some transparent yellow here. And I'm going to put this on neat first of all. So I know it's going to be pretty yellow, but I'm hopefully going to mix in some other colours with it. And I'm going to amp the colours up a bit in this painting. I'm not going to be too worried about the exact colours. I'm just going to actually just <coughs> play with it a little bit with the colour. So we'll start to tip on some nice bright yellow. Just slosh that on. Starting to dip into some blue now. Obviously that's gonna mix with the yellow a bit. <clears throat> and because this is all wet, there's not much point trying to worry about um, brush marks or direction of stroke or anything like that. It's more about this, just the strength of colour is really what I'm after at the moment. Might even flick into some of that yellow just to get some of the green and yellow together, or blue and yellow I should say together. So it's pretty dark on this side. So I'm just going to get lots of blue into the picture. In there, a lot more colour down here. Lots more blue. I'm actually going to drop on some more paint into that initial bit of colour, all the way to the bottom. I'm not really worrying too much about it flattening out. I'm just going to tip it now a little bit. I'm going to run up to the other right and get some tissue. Take my spray bottle. I'm just going to spray this up near the masking fluid a bit. Just to lighten off that top section a touch more. Get it to all run down a bit more. So I'm just taking some tissue and running that paint away. So we'll let that come all the way down. So that yellow is moving quite nicely now. kind of going round the surfer. So I'm just going to bend it back over this way now to get a bit more direction. Bit of curve in the um, in the wash. So just have to be a little bit patient with this. Can't really rush it. Might actually have to put a bit more a bit more blue into that middle section. It's gone very yellow now. I'm going to take a bit more while it's all still nice and wet. Much thicker paint with the blue. And run a band 
of that just through this middle section. So this is obviously more paint in it. Um, so that's coming all the way down through my surfer up into this sort of section. It's really dark through there. Can actually bring a bit of that back that way. Break that up a bit. Come a bit darker there. And then <clears throat> wash away this bottom section now. Again, just a bit of tipping. Just mop up the paint, the excess, <clears throat> as it comes off. Get a bit more water into this middle bit. And a bit lighter through here. Just run that down. Nice and wet. So I'm just going to let that finish off running wherever it wants to run to keeping it at a slight angle just so that um there is a little bit of gesture to the wash so i'm going to now tilt the board back down a bit <clears throat> get some more tissue so before it's completely dry i'm just going to lift out a little bit of color the bottom down here just wiping back just a little bit of tissue just to wipe out <clears throat> and obviously the colors will bleed into it a bit but that's fine might also just encourage a little bit of direction just dragging the tissue over that wash okay Might just need to let that dry now. Try not to play with it too much. Okay, I'm going to mop up some of these excess bits on the masking fluid. When I blow dry it, it's not going to go everywhere. So that should be dry now. So it's dried incredibly lighter than what it was. Okay, so I'm going to have to now oops, get my brush. Just drop on the floor. So what I'm going to do now is um, I think maybe even repeat the process, <clears throat> but mainly just with the blue, 
because what I'm hoping is if I go over the with just the blue, this will go more green and this will then just become more intense. So, uh, all my four water pots are really filthy, never mind. So, what I'm going to do is just re wet this section. So plenty of water. Take that right the way down. Okay, take some paint, just the blue as I said. I'm not gonna put any yellow in it this time. Just taking the blue and I'm going to work the blue now into and over this original wash. What blue are you using? It's kind of a thalo blue. It's slightly turquoisey thalo blue. It's, it's a um, St. Petersburg colour. It's like called, um, it's called Azure blue is what it's called, mm -hmm. if you're wondering. Just break that bottom edge up. And more colour mm -hmm. in here. Bring more into this yellow bit. Otherwise, the yellow bit's going to be a bit too yellow, I think. I'm going to wash that back in a sec. A bit more colour. More blue. So I need to go really dark now. So very, very neat. Through this middle section. So very strong with the with the blue now. Same blue, just the um, azure blue word I just called it. So it's nice and rich and dark. And then again, I'll just give that a tip. And some tissue. In fact, I think the yellow bit in the middle will probably be okay. By the time that's dry, it's going to dry quite light. So let's just give that a little tip. I'll just spray that one. the bottom out a little bit so it's not quite so dark. Again just wiping wiping the bottom section a bit. So I'm going to tip that now down and away. <clears throat> Let it, give it a minute or so. So really this is quite critical at this point not to play with the play with the wash because if I start fiddling with any of this while it's so wet it will just it'll just cauliflower and it'll do all sorts of things that you don't necessarily want it to do. But this is starting to curve quite nicely in here now so hopefully that will stay and it won't just disappear as the wash dries. Sometimes it stays, sometimes it goes so you just never know. Wipe the bottom a bit more. Okay 
just lay that back on the there. Bit more tissue. Just gonna mop up some of these big splodges so they don't run. The figure painted in. And for that, I'm going to use a smaller brush. So the figure itself has got some different colors on it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to wet, I'm just going to wet the whole, the whole figure first, including his face. I don't want it to be too solid if um, broken up shapes. And keep it fairly simple. So I'm wetting the just the, the area of the whole figure. So coming all the way down. So it's got some feet sort of there. It's gone over the edge there as well. And then I'm going to take some alizarin. Oh, that's purple, that's not alizarin. Some alizarin, which is the red, and some ochre. First of all, so that I've got some colour for his face. So that's going to go on first. So this front section is going to be the. So that's the alizarin and ochre, and his hand, or arm, I should say, and legs. Got this legging as well. And then we'll have the um, use some Payne's grey and that azure blue together. And I'm just waiting for this to go off a little bit. I want it to be wet but not totally, totally wet before I drop this next colour in. I'm just going to thicken up the paint a little bit. Let's start with this part. So this is his far arm. I'm going to leave a little gap for the moment where the, um, the head is. Now coming down. comes down and then into his shoulder. Just let those colours creep together. Into his leg. Okay. I might just lift out a little bit there, just stop it creeping too much. That's enough. So we'll let that dry. While that's drying, I'm going to put a bit of colour on the board. So the board itself, actually no, I'm going to dry that off first, so risking bleeding it all together. So the board is going to be uh, a limey, so it's got some yellow in it. So again, I'm going to wet the area that I want the colour to go into. So the board's going to, this is sort of the edge of the board and comes down to sort of a tip down there. So I want this 
the main body of the board to be fairly white. Um, I'm going to take some of the transparent yellow, just run that into this edge. So this is the same yellow that I used in the wave. So I just run that along the edge of the board to about there. Enough. We've got a shadow being cast back. So I'm going to take the azure blue and put some red in it to make a purple. And then that's going to be used. So I can carve into his foot a bit there. Can come back and then bleed into. So it's a softer shadow. Don't want it to be too strong. In fact, the front edge of the board is actually fairly dark here as well. <clears throat> He's got some shadow for the same colour, the blue and the red together again. He's got some shadow down his back. So I might just put a bit of that in. Down his leg. And his suit and then it cuts across his back there into that arm a bit. And then the back of his head, so I need to go warmer, so let's make that more brown. I'm just gonna put some yellow into that purpley color. So it's a bit browner. So he's got some hair, kind of here. A little indication, not too much, but a little indication of where the eyes are, nose, mouth, just in there. Just soften that off a bit. So let's now put some washes into, we'll come back to the little figure later. I put some washes into some of this white area, which is fairly blue. So I need to wipe off my palette. That needs to be a bit of a warmer blue, this one. I'm going to use some um, ultramarine. For this color. I'm just mixing up a wash of ultramarine. And then I'm going to spray some of these whiter bits. Take the ultramarine and just start to drop it into that spray. Ultramarine in there. Just going to tilt the board down a bit, it's a bit too steep. So I need to bring this now into some of these patches.
bring that all the way down to where the board is. Into the edge of the board. A bit more ultramarine. Just to carve into the wave a little bit. Wash that away. Few more spots here and there. A bit darker. Just gonna give some indication of where the board is carved through through the wave. A lot of this white up here can all go blue. So it's kind of in the shadow. Or shade, I should say. And I'm going to take some of the transparent yellow to run that or some of that into some of those blue bits just for a variation. more of the azure blue into the ultramarine. The shadow at the front of the board is quite dark. Make that a bit darker there. Then I can run that away. And I need to give that a dry now.
for my little figure, I'm going to put some more tone on him. I'm going to use some drier Payne's Grey. Just to draw in to um, make some stronger marks. Back of his head. So here. Shoulder. He's got an arm there somewhere. To the legs. Okay, and then the surfboard itself. Get that to be a bit stronger. So there's a point just at the front here. It kind of comes down, comes back. Back of the board's a bit stronger there. Okay. So I'm going to take a bit more of that blue, the ultramarine touch of the azure in it. Add a bit more wash, just where the wave's cresting over, just up in this corner. Breaking up the top edge a little bit. Some more blues. So I think I'll take a little break there just to let you all catch up. Has anybody got any questions at this moment in time? Everybody okay? I'm going to put the kettle on and I'll be back in a couple of moments. All right. So happy painting. <laughs>
Okay, I'm back and folks, how's everyone getting on? Any problems? Everybody done masterpieces? <laughs> Seems to be getting in a right mess this morning. I've got paint everywhere. Got this blue seems to be incredibly staining. I've got it all over my hands. Okay. So do you want me to carry on? Do you want me to see how you're doing? Any takers? No. It would be nice and quiet this morning. Right, I am just gonna get some clean water because my water's a bit filthy. Let's just do that quick. some clean water. Okay, well I'll carry on then because I think everybody is... Um, well we're all muted at the moment. Yeah, no, no, yeah. Um, I'll carry on painting unless anybody wants me to have a look and see how they're doing. I'll just do another little section. Let's get some clean water. Um, let's just lift a little bit of that out. Went a bit far. It's got a funny shape in the mind. I lose a bit at the back of the board, I think. Can't really see. Let's just have a look in the mirror. I think it's probably okay. Right. Okay, now I'm going to develop the. Um, uh, the tray shape a little bit more because it's not quite strong enough. So I'm just going to use the um, azure blue again with some of the um, transparent yellow in it. So the board is about here so I'm going to start to bring some slightly darker colour. No, it's not like that. Okay. Just to bring a sort of a trail through the um through the wave god god lose the back of the board a little bit up into this top section i'm just gonna soften that off now on this right hand side don't want too much of a line there Put some foam on that edge, probably with some paint, white paint or something. Afterwards, take that same colour, run some of that into this edge. Because obviously the board is fitting um, proud of the water. By doing this, I want to try and create the illusion of um, something or other. Um, something or other, yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, let's just run that down there. A bit darker. 
Oops, can't see because of the glare. <clears throat> okay, and then his face is a bit too light again. It's got a bit more red, reddy brown. So this the light's sort of coming from this right hand side. So I'm just going to darken up all of this side of his face a lot stronger and also his arm <coughs> and probably because he's a bit of a surf bum he's probably got quite a quite a tan mm. it's just you know it's a bit dark it's probably too dark put some shadow on his legs <coughs> Make up a bit more in shadow. Okay. We run a bit of that into his hair as well, actually. Right. Now, we need to make get some white. I'm just going to use white gouache for this. Bit of tidying up. So his foot's kind of gone a bit strange. Don't know what happened there, so I'm going to carve that down a little bit. Tidy up the edge of the board here a bit. This shadow has gone way too big. Let's bring that back. back a bit and then the shadow at the foot base of his foot's a bit big as well just carve that back a bit more and then I can actually carve up then to the front of the board just make that a bit cleaner perhaps a tiny bit just in there Back of the board there. Let's give the board a bit more direction. And then I need some spots then now off of this foam edge. Just to sort of show that it's sitting on top of. Try and make this, try and make it as random as possible, which is not always so easy. Just a bit of weight there. And then as it kind of flays out, That's good. a bit more water in the brush, I think. Uh, spray it directionally, hopefully, if I can get this enough water in my brush. <clears throat> so it's coming out this way. That's better. Okay. Now, the spray up there i'm going to put it in white and then what i might do is put a, a glaze of blue over it afterwards so i want a bit of i want a bit of spray coming up this brush is a bit too soft i'm going to get a stiffer brush Let's try this one See if this one's better <clears throat> This one might be a bit better. So let's just get a bit of spray, he says. <clears throat> and 
Mm -hmm. Still too soft. Let's try a stiffer one. Let's try a bristle one. And this one. Ah, oh, that's better. Right. So now, so I'm just going to direct this spray back up this way. I'm using um, a hog brush now. This is why the spray is coming off. So you could use a toothbrush if you don't have one of these, um, which will help to give more of a directed spray. And then it's more direction from here. And it kind of comes up. And then loads of spatter up there. Up over the top of that blue. And then we need some more bits of spray over here. Spray test it today. Okay. And then coming off of the main, the right hand side where it's cresting over, I need some spray coming down this way. Make it a bit stronger. Kind of cresting over this side, so a bit more spray here. Okay, and then I'm going to take some. Actually, I might just use the end of the brush. Let's see what that does. So the wrong end of the brush. Yeah. So I'm just using, I don't know if you can see that, the wrong end of the brush to give me some of the little, um, almost like the foam, the foam bubbles that kind of are the trailing end of where the wave has kind of been crushed over before. Just get some of those indications in. And obviously I'm trying to direct them because I'm trying to give the feeling that the wave is coming up like so. So these ones are going to be going back towards the right. And as you get to the middle, then it starts to curve over and then back up on itself. So um, quite important to get them in the right direction. Otherwise the wave will feel very flat. Then we can have a few bits of foam bubbles down here. Obviously down here everything's very flat. Very little um, angle to anything. <coughs> Pick up first bubbles up here. Break up where his foot is meeting there, and also where the, the board meets on here as well. actually coming out of the water rather than mm, just being stuck on the water. 
few more burst bubbles there. Particularly near the edge and overlapping the edge so that the, the board um, fills a part of the hole. So I want a nice, rich, dark area. Which will help the a the foam to show up a bit better, and it will just balance out the light area a bit more, make that stand out a bit stronger. Yeah, a bit darker through there, even in there. That's the odd, the odd spot. Just spray that top edge out. I'm actually going to tip it upwards a bit. Okay, and that should do it. Hopefully, if that dries nicely, then that will be okay. So, we'll mop up, mop up that a little bit. Into a bit of red. Oops, that was clever. So let's just warm up his face a bit more. And it's redder on the side. And then let's give him a chin. I think he doesn't have a chin, that's probably what's not helping. Nothing wrong with his face, it's lovely. And the side of his nose needs a bit more. You know your mic's not muted, don't you? Yeah, I do. <laughs> You're just a running commentary then, is it? Yeah, I'm giving you a running commentary. <laughs> Thanks. That's, in, that's inspired that yellow up the top there, it's wonderful. <laughs> All right, a little bit more. Got the sun shining through. Hmm. Well, yeah, that's what waves do though, isn't it? They yeah, you got it. They kind of do that sort of thing, don't they? Mm. A bit more red in the back of his leg. Perhaps this red can go a bit leg can go a bit redder. Okay, and then I don't know what that little spot there is doing, so let's lose that. Maybe his back's a little bit too broken up and it's put a bit more of that blue in it. Just to unify his back a bit more. It's all got a bit too bitty. Just put a wash of this darker blue. Just to unify his um, body. That's a bit better, I think. And then I think we need a bit of, we need a spot of colour. I think I might take some, a little bit of red. So I'm just going to dip it out of the, straight out of the tube, just for a few spots of brighter colour. Let's give his trunk some red. Mm -hmm. Perhaps he'll have a bit of, I don't know, they sometimes have designs on them, don't they, these tops, so a bit of red there, perhaps a little bit of red in the shoulder. I don't quite know what's going on with that dark mark there, it's a bit odd, let's just red that up a bit more. Um, okay, and then on the board, Go a bit more yellow, limey yellow. I think I've got one. I've got a nice. These are this is actually um, gouache. A nice bright yellow here. Well, saying that, 
quite dirty at the moment, I need to clean that off. Mm -hmm. She stuck a brush in there with lots of other colour in it. So taking some yellow, just going to put a bit of yellow on the board here, just to brighten it up. Give the board a bit more direction. sometimes have these designs on them so let's just give that a directional line there let's just make his arm a bit slightly yellowier <clears throat> make his hand a bit more yellow Okay, let's see what that looks like. <clears throat> so now, I feel like the, um, the foam on this side is a bit too light still. May just put another slightly darker wash into it. So let's just spray that again. And bring my ultramarine and the azure blue together. Work some of this in. Too steep. Darker marks up there. Spray that bit. Just encourage those blues to meet. A bit more of that azure and ultramarine again together. And this section where the board is kind of already carved through become a bit darker as well, I feel. Uh, just going to carve into this shape a bit more. Bring a bit more dark down there. Slightly darker in the crest. Put a tiny bit of yellow in that as well. Just want to get this to crest over a bit more. Dry. Just 
Okay, and then I think perhaps at the bottom now we can have a little bit of light colour. So where the, um, <clears throat> the foam patterns are. And for that I might just use a rigger. So I'll take my rigger. Uh, the rigger and some just some white white paint and then try and keep it fairly flat in the marks um, thinking of them almost as flat circles really And occasionally maybe you can just wiggle a bit up the wave face. Mm. Just here and there. Again, maybe on this side I could wiggle a bit up the wave there. thing is not to get too carried away with this because it's quite good fun and you can very easily Use it. put too many wiggly marks but they do sort of make a lot of these patterns um, and it does help to break up as well a lot of this large area of wash let's have a little bit of this turquoise in his in the in the figure just to strengthen him up a little bit more um perhaps his arm needs a bit his shoulder's got a little bit lost so i'm just going to bring his shoulder back there a little bit more uh, maybe we'll have a little bit on the bottom of the board here just there, perhaps a bit across the back edge, a few spots here and there. 